guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. So today's video, I'm going to show you um, what I have in my enrollment folder that I give to my new clients coming into my daycare. So this will not be what I give to them during our interview. So because I um, watch a lot of infants and toddlers, um, the interview will usually happen while the parents are still pregnant. And so there could be quite a few months between our interview time and then their child's first day of yeah, care. They've given me a deposit and a contract and an estimated first day of care. Um, and then there's just this time that I don't hear from them for a while. And then when baby is home and healthy um, and mom's, you know, about halfway through her maternity leave, she will send me uh, an email and be like, hey, you know, baby's here. It's looking like this is my date that I'm going to go back to work and then that is the time I will send out an enrollment packet and then we will schedule one more meeting where I will meet baby and um, just finalize any last questions and things before that first day of care. So this is the enrollment packet that is sent out um, to the parents when they are about halfway done with their maternity leave. So my enrollment form looks like this, and I use these just about blue folders, and then I have a sticker that I have created that I put on the front, and, I put that right there. and then inside is where I will put all of our forms. So on this side is just a welcome letter to my new student, and um, I have her name covered up because obviously I do not have her parents' consent yet to have her name on YouTube, but it just says, Dear, and then her name, Welcome to daycare. I'm very excited to be your teacher, and I can't wait to show you our classroom. There are so many fun things we're going to do. I look forward to meeting you. If you would like to bring your parents to my house before your first day, we can schedule a meeting to finalize paperwork, and they can tell me all about you. I have sent some forms for Mommy and Daddy to fill out, so I will know the best way to take care of you. Also, have them check out the August newsletter and our daily schedule. Love, Miss Holly. Okay, and then behind that is all of the forms that I require um, the child to have before they can um, enroll. So, I like to put it on this pre-enrollment checklist. And then it just very easily lays out everything that I need from the parents um, to be able to enroll their child. So, this list here would be to be completed before the first day of care. And then this list is to be completed during the first week of care. So I have some parents that just do it all before their child's first day of care. Um, and then other parents that will take that first week and make sure that they kind of have everything run down. And then once kind of I have everything, I'll just kind of let the parents know, hey, you know what? We have, I have all the forms I need and we are all good to go. So, so I'll just quickly show you um, what these forms look like. Most of these are ones that I have created. So this is just an enrollment form. So this would be like the medical form that I would need. This is a copy of just a DHS um, exam that the child would bring from the doctors. Now, usually the doctor has their own form that they will just print off or email, and that's fine. I just always put a copy in here just so they kind of have an idea of what I'm looking for. And then this is a getting to know your baby, and this is just kind of... It's not the medical side of things. It's more just the everyday what's working for your child. And then here's all my authorizations that I have them sign off of different things that we do during the day. And then this would also be for my YouTube, Facebook, anything like that. And then this is something for um, DCFS. This just gives them a little summary of licensing. And then on the back, it's just a form that I'm required to have in their file stating that, um, you know, the parents understand licensing requirements. So, so those are the forms. And then on the other side is a little bit more fun. This is, this one is my August newsletter. And whenever the child is enrolling, we'll get the current month's yeah. newsletter. I always put a infant toddler schedule and then I always do a closing calendar. All right, guys, thanks for watching and seeing what I have in my folders for my new students. Now, I also, at the end of every school year, will do an update file. So I'll go through all of my current clients and 
see if any of our forms need to be updated. And then I will send home a packet with them that's very similar to this, but instead of like a enrollment form saying what I need before the first day, it'll just be like um, just a renew renewal form. And it'll just be like I need some of these forms updated. So um, this works well. And then I only have to update my kids' files once a year. And so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.